Dentistry was something that was new to this village, so I was removing teeth that was at, that were abscessed. We took toothbrushes along and we were showing people what they should use a toothbrush for, which was amazing. After several years of going to Tochimisoko, people were coming and asking to have their teeth cleaned, which was amazing from where we started. There was one year that we had so many patients that one day we saw like 76 patients. You're tired, but your heart feels good that you help so many people. You're not going on this trip to make the Mexican healthcare system work better. You're going to help fellow Christians that were in need and ask for your help. We arrived in the village on Thursday morning and I was immediately met by the local part-time doctor who said there was a very ill patient. He wanted me to go to this man's house and see. He was in congestive heart failure. Uh, he had a very rapid, irregular, weak pulse. Uh, he looked like he was on the brink of death. How's it gonna to look to the people of the village if we lose the very first patient we see this year? One of the team doctors from Arizona had thrown a bunch of sample medicine into his suitcase from his office sample closet. And one of those medicines was exactly what we needed to treat this man's condition. As we started him on the medicine, he got a little bit better. And Sunday, our fourth day in the village, one of his family members put him in a wheelbarrow and rolled him to church so he could attend the service. I have never been so overjoyed to see someone show up in a wheelbarrow at church as I was that Sunday morning. We have gone from working in a room without a ceiling because it was an adobe building to a medical dental clinic that's two stories. It has a dormitory above, there's a kitchen, there's a sleeping area for the doctor. It's amazing. Without the funding, it, it wouldn't have happened. It's a wonderful and marvelous mission. You will come back like a, like a new person because you will experience something. It's another world, completely another world. And if you have a chance, go. We need young people right now to do that mission. It's one of those experiences that you don't find any place else. And taking you out of your own culture and putting you in someone else's culture, it just expands you in some way. You see God working all around you.